All right, and welcome back to Inside Baseball Play of the Day. I'm Alex Bolden, and in this week's market shenanigans, alternative social media company Rumble goes public, and the Fed is officially in a slump. Keep it locked in right here. First, let's look at the Fed. This week, Jerome Powell released the Fed's dot plot, which forecasts where rates will be in the next few years. According to the new data, the Fed will continue raising rates until the Fed funds rate reaches 4.6% in 2023. And the Fed won't end its restrictive policies until 2025. This is terrible news, and it's shaking out the market as we speak. On the flip side, when stocks drop, you can buy in for a lower price or lower your cost average. And there are still some hot stocks out there. Take alternative social media company Rumble, for example. It went public Monday, sending the stock up 40% in one day. Now, I know what you're thinking. 40% on a stock in a bear market during a recession? Well, investors are betting that the censorship-free video platform will outperform the current alternatives like Twitter and YouTube. Maybe we should be posting these videos on Rumble. Maybe people will actually watch them. Uh, Rumble boasts an 80% increase in monthly active users this month, coming in at 63 million. That's compared with Twitter's 68 million monthly users, and you can see why big tech is shaking in their boots. Rumble even sued Google last year, alleging the media giant favored its own YouTube platform and search results. According to The Verge, the lawsuit states that Rumble's success has been far less than it could have and should have been as a direct result of Google's unlawful, anti-competitive, exclusionary, and monopolistic behavior. Google may have to give Rumble access to its search algorithms now that a California judge just ruled that the case can move forward. All positive signs for the stock. So while everyone was speculating on it this week and the market crashed yet again, subscribers to my investment advisory were locking in gains. We bought the SPAC back in April because I spotted $7 million worth of insider buying. I took that as a sign to buy. And boy, did that pay off. So if you want more insider investing ideas, check out the link to my service in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now play me out, boys.